Everybody, I'm Marion, the inappropriate artist, and I'm coming to you today from my friend's RV. And I've been here before. This is Round Rock, Texas. Um, I am here getting together. One, I came to spend the holidays with friends, and then also because I wanted time to work on getting my license and residency all settled. Uh, that's taking still a little bit more time than I hoped just because I have to make up the fees. So um, I have been busy working on these little miniatures. I'll show you pictures of those right now. <laughs> And those little miniatures are going to be available for the RTR and Quartzite. Whether or not I actually make the RTR, we'll see. It's still on the table. So I'm hoping. So those little guys are already sort of, they're part of my inventory for that. And also while I'm here, I have been working Many of you know, if you've been following along from the beginning, my goal is to paint all 50 states and in the process I'm going to be putting together a book or many books about my artistic journey. Um, and one of the ideas I have had, which I've already shared with my patrons, so if you want to be on the inside and know what's going on, as of the new year, my new goal is to post every single day on Patreon with what I am working on that day. So if you want to participate a little bit more fully in the journey, you can do that by going to the link below in the description. Um, you can click on that and get to the Patreon website. I know it's a little tricky to maneuver. They have made some improvements. Um, but I hope if you have enough patience, you can get through it and become a patron on my Patreon. Uh, but what I am working on is, so I was given, let me start at the beginning. Oh, I'm reminded of a Sound of Music song. Um, and my musical Tourette's comes out. Okay. I had a friend in Elephant Butte who gave me some empty books. They're just Walmart books. I think I've talked about them before in a video. Um, so what I have done is started to do kind of an illustrated journal. And I think this is how the book idea is going to flush out. So I just decided to start with where I am today, and that is in the memory still of New Mexico. And um, I started this with a cover. And the cover, I just used my memory and had some fun. Ooh, let's see if we can get that better. It is a very light I used the prism color colored pencils and then went in with a water filled brush. I've got to put my elbow down, my arm's getting tired. <laughs> went in with a water filled brush and manipulated the colored pencil around to create that. And so, and then I have the first page, which is a double page, and here's the image. Now that double page is my memory of 
leaving Colorado. I have not written anything in on that yet, but there is space below the image, as you can tell, for me to write in. Now, I am, and I'll, let me just get through this and I'll explain a little bit more where the idea for this came from. So, next page is this beautiful sunrise. Here's the image. And this is where I parked in southern Colorado on my way out of the state. The first to the big page is my memory of the snow first being in the mountains as I was leaving and being like, oh my God, get me out of here. The second page is where I stayed just before I got out of the state. That beautiful, magnificent sunrise and it was the last really beautiful day for a while. And then the next page is self-explanatory. So that is, and that's kind of the idea. I'm going to be adding little bits of information around these paintings. Um, and I've been fleshing that out. So the idea for how I am doing this book came from a few different places. One was Sarah Burns, right? I've mentioned her before. Sarah Burns Studio is her YouTube channel. She's fabulous. Love her. She, uh, did, she does sketchbook tours all the time. And I've always shied away from having a sketchbook. But since I was given these books... I'm doing this. Um, so she had done a sketchbook chronicling a trip that she took up the coast of Scotland, I believe. And I thought it was really neat the way she laid it out. And so I was looking at that and now she did it a little bit differently than I'm doing it. A little bit. Only, you know, whatever. Um, but I, this is going to come out however it comes out because it's mine, not hers, right? So, there you go. But I definitely wanted to credit her for a part of this idea. What started me thinking about it was I used to do picture framing for a wonderful illustrator named Jim Stevenson. And he used to do these wonderful full-page illustrations uh, for the New York Times, I believe. Just gorgeous. Um, there was a whole, I think this series was called Lost and Found in New York. I think there was a whole book. Gotta, I'll uh, look it up and see if I can get links and put them below. Um, just really neat the way the whole thing is laid out and it's definitely an illustrator with little messages and things in there and you know his handwriting is sort of is part of the whole thing and I mean his handwriting is extremely consistent and his, he was doing that for a million years I mean he was not a young man when I met him and I I know he passed away not long ago but he was in his 90s an incredibly accomplished human being so if you don't know about Jim Stevenson, look him up. Wonderful children's book writer. Oh, I could go on forever. Right. Between him and Sarah Burns being a contemporary doing something similar for confirmation and validation that it's not a bad move, I am starting to flesh out my ideas this way. Along with all the new paintings you've seen on Instagram, I've been a busy beaver, to say the least, at the close and beginning of this new, at the close of the old and the beginning of this new, and I really feel like it is a beautiful, good, synchronistic sign of things to come. So... I look forward to all of you uh, continuing to join along and build up those numbers on my Patreon. That's another goal of mine 
is to achieve um, right now I have nine patrons on Patreon I have had that number for quite some time and I have appreciated them sticking with me all of this time and if you're watching this video which many of you are many of the nine are <laughs> oh okay so thank you for all of your support so far but my goal is to at least double that in the next four months okay so in four months time I want to get to 18 patrons on patreon that's my goal and I'm saying this right now in this video so <clears throat> There's that. Uh, in case you were wondering, and it just dawned on me that I didn't explain. So when I did this cover, um, I did it first. I sketched it out first with the prism color, watercolor pencils. That part I explained. And then the paintbrush. So when I was finished, this was still a very unstable this painting. This was a really slick cover. A very shiny finish and like way more super slick than Bristol even um, so these watercolor pencils were gonna be disturbed in a heartbeat and so I then grabbed my Dorland wax so this stuff now this stuff also I'm using on um, my little cards my little minis um, just in case people decide they don't want to put them in frames right away or you know but I decided to coat the cover of this with that and it was great because it actually helped to deepen the color a little bit more um, it still feels a little bit waxy but that might be because I need to buff it out um, and maybe put another coat of wax on here I'm not sure we'll see Anyway, I wanted to keep you up to date as to what's going on, and Nugget is happily snoozing on the couch there. She really is enjoying having the space to bolt about. Um, yeah, so let's get those numbers up on Patreon. I'd really appreciate your participation, and... Uh, We'll see you next time. If you like the video, thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, I hope you consider doing so. The subscription button is below. And yeah, oh, if you want to be notified every single time I put out a video, you can hit that notification bell, which is next to the subscribe thing. Yeah, all that stuff. You can do that. <laughs> Thanks for joining me today, everybody. We'll see you next time. <laughs> Bye-bye.